Rice is the seed of the grass species Oryza glaberima, African rice, or Oryza sativa, Asian rice. It is a cereal food. What I mean by the cereal food is the edible parts of any grass, the grain. It is the agricultural commodity with the third highest worldwide production, after the sugarcane and corn. But I'm not going to focus on rice's origins and the impact on the human population today. Rice is just the subject of today's experiment. This is Safet Yalas and you are watching Bite Size Stories. If you rewind to early 2000s, you might remember the name Dr. Masori Imoto. Dr. Imoto suggested water is the blueprint of our reality. Our emotions, energies and vibrations could change the physical structure of water. To prove his point, he conducted the rice experiment. If you haven't heard about the rice experiment, I put the link below. You can watch the original video and come back here, or you can watch me do it now. The experiment is simple. I'm going to prepare three rice samples, and for 30 days every day, I'm going to say I love you to the first sample, you are stupid to the second sample, and ignore the third one completely. For this experiment, I put the same amount of distilled water and rice into three petri dishes. On the first one, I wrote love, the second one, stupid, yes, I spelled stupid wrong, how appropriate. And then, to make things interesting, on the third petri dish, I wrote woof, instead of leaving it blank. Woof is a sound than a word, we humans imitate a dog. When we say woof, I wonder if it's going to create a different result. I put all the rice samples on a designated space where all of them stay in a similar conditions. On day one, I wasn't expecting anything. All the samples looked the same. On day two, there was a heat wave in my town. All the samples developed mildew. Day three, the mildew was gone, but there was something new. Both stupid and woof developed some mold, yet love reminded the same. On day 4, the difference was noticeable, love looking better than the stupid and woof. I put the samples under the microscope. These are the mildew from the top of the love petri dish. As you can see, they all formed almost a perfect circle shape and look very clear. At the first glance, the dew formation in stupid petri dish looks the same. However, most of the droplets were filled with mold. By the way, if you know what type of mold this is, please comment below. Wolf's Petri dish has a similar condition, but less intense. On day 5, love looked the same. Tupet's mold population slightly turned black. Woof's mold mostly developed on the left side of the petri dish. On day 6, I decided to look at all the petri dishes from the side. Love looked clear and the rice was freely swimming in the water. Stupid developed so much mold, it pressed the rice to the bottom. But as you can see, the water is present in the petri dish. Woof also covered with mold, but the rice still freely moving in the water. On day 7, rice grains in the low petri dish still developed no mold, but the rice grains got bigger. The surface of the stupid petri dish covered entirely and the mold was getting darker every day. Wolf's surface also covered with the mold, but somehow it didn't grow on the right side of the petri dish. And under the mold, rice is still able to move. After one week doing this experiment, I start to lose my interest. Love remains the same, stupid gets darker and Woof acting like a weirdo. On the right side of the petri dish, rice is still visible. Day 9 and the day 10 were similar. On day 11, I had an important deadline and I couldn't pay attention to the experiment. On day 12, this happened. 
Hello everybody, this is Mr. Love. This is stupid. It's very dark now. And this is Woof. It's almost in a similar condition. But yesterday I wasn't able to say uh, I love you to the loved one. And immediately it started to produce mold here. And I think I'm going to continue to experiment. Maybe I can isolate that. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I just stopped and immediately mold starts to show up. This is the present uh, situation here. Stupid. Yes. Wolf. And his love. On day 13, the mold on the love petri dish started to expand. There was no turning back. I stopped the experiment. But I didn't get rid of the samples immediately. On day 30, love covered by some yellowish substance. I assume it is a type of a bacteria rather than a mold. There was no fermentation. Stupid filled with mold completely. Woof was filled with the mold too, but it was the only one that water was still present among all the samples. So is this experiment proof anything? Not really. I prepared the samples at home, not in a control environment. I had to commit the experiment for 30 days, but I failed on day 11. The results of my experiments were inconclusive. Plus, the loud petri dish is supposed to be not contaminated for 30 days regardless, after I put the sticker on it. Original experiments of Dr. Imoto's got criticized by the scientific community, because he published his work by himself didn't share enough data and the samples he used could be easily manipulated. In addition to that, Dr. Imoto picked on a lot because he was a doctor of alternative medicine. He got his degree from a makeshift university somewhere in India that you can pay to publish any thesis project you want. On his defense, Dr. Imoto made it clear that he's not a scientist and his experiments are not scientific. Yet, this fact swiped under the carpet by the pseudoscience community, and they pushed Dr. Imoto's ideas with movies such What to Believe Do We Know. No doubt, water is one of the most mysterious elements in the universe, and luckily, we have lots of it here on Earth. A big thanks to my subscribers for supporting the channel. Do you like short documentaries or strange, interesting short stories like Twilight Zone TV series? Then do I have a channel for you? At Bite Size Stories, I dedicated myself to put things under the microscope, also write and read sci-fi and fantasy stories. I document all the creative process I'm going through, what inspires me, and then share the finished product with you. If you like to look at my other videos, click on the links available. Of course, most importantly, please subscribe and share my videos.